So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every single Friday. So in today's DAX Fridays, I'm going to show you something cool. So I don't know if you ever wanted to do this, but I'm going to show you how to get the top value of the result of a measure using DAX. Okay, so first of all, why would you want to do that? Let me show you. This is our billionaire's Power BI report, right? You've seen it before. I'll be showing you a couple of times. So we've done all the analysis and now we just want to summarize everything so it's super clear who our billionaires are. So let's say that, I don't know, we want to know in South Africa, what is the recipe for the billionaires down there? So you will see here that if you want to become a billionaire in South Africa, then your best chances are if you are male, because most of them are male. If you start your company when you are less than 40, 40, 54 years old, so it's like middle-aged. <laughs> if you're a founder of the company and your business should be within mining and metals, for sure. So maybe you wonder, like, ooh, where are my billionaires? So then you can go here, read through, go to our billionaires and here you'll see who the billionaires are in South Africa, okay? And you can do these with any country you like. Let's speak Sweden. So you will be male, not enough data about age, or most of the billionaires did not have it, uh, an age when they became billionaires. Your position in the company is related. It means that you inherited the company. Who knew? And this is for 2014, by the way, you should say in here. Uh, and your business should be in the financial industry. Who knew that? Food packaging sector. If you then go to here, I would say, like, what? I wouldn't identify that with Sweden. You can see here the diversified financial, the one that has most billionaires. And these are the companies that they have, right? So I'm going to post a link down below in case you want to play with this so you can see who the billionaires are in your country and what do they have in common. So how did I do that? How did I do this thing that summarized the entire report in just one sentence? Let me show you. So here we have the magic formula, which is in here. So this is uh, putting together the results of a series of parameters that I picked. So we have top gender, top founding age, we have uh, position of the company, so the relationship to the company. So if it was new, it was uh, owned, whatever it is. Um, and then we have industry type, industry and sector. Okay, so those are the things that the algorithm is giving us. So how do you get it? How do you get the top value of a measure? Now we're ready. Let's go. Now that I show you what it is, what the madness is about. So let's say that we want uh, to pick number of billionaires. Let's do the gender one, for example. All of them are done the same. Uh, what is our gender here? So we're going to put this as a table. I wish it was table by default. So you can see here that the number of billionaires is always male. And that is true for all countries, by the way, unfortunately. If you're a lady, you need to inherit the money in order to be in this list. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to rank. So we create a measure. Go here, new measure. And then we have a top rank gender, which is, we've done this before, rank X, remove all filters on gender and then we're going to do the number of billionaires so we want to know who the top billionaires is by gender this is what it's all about so where is our new there top rank and then we get a rank based on that category by number of billionaires and we can do this for any of the dimensions in the table what we need to do now is that it has to pick the number one whatever it is on gender and for that, we do another measure. This is super easy and really cool because you can do exactly the same thing. You can, you know, cook everything that you found out in a report into a sentence. So it's easy to for people to um, absorb. Okay, so now we're going to get top 
gender. I'm going. Uh, there's a top gender already, so I'm going to put top gender two, and then we're going to do calculate the last known blank of uh, the gender. So give us the last um, the last um, you can use last or first, it doesn't matter because we're going to filter by rank. But this is give give us whatever it is in the table that we're going to provide. And the table that we're going to provide is as follows. We're going to have all billionaires. Uh, let's put gender because there's only one gender. And then we're going to do where rank you can probably do that in one measure. I haven't done it actually. Uh, so we are saying, okay, first for the billionaires um, table, go to the gender column and pick the one that has a rank number one. So this is going to basically get this table and then just get male. And then it says, then pass it to last known blank and last known blank is going to return whatever it has, which is just male because we already filter everything. Okay. So that's how you do it. So let me show you, let me show you the thing in action. Not that one. Where is top gender two? There. There you have it, male. So that's how you pick the top value. You can pick also the last value, whatever you want, the top value for your measure. And then once you have that, you create, it, you create this. It says your best chances are if you are male, <laughs> you see, because that's what it will feel. And your company is, and depending on where country you, you are, it will filter differently, right? So I hope this is useful and I hope you can use it also creatively to you know, spell it out for your audience what your findings are, like in here. There are four, five tabs and everything is being cooked down to this. That's it. That's all they need to know. Then you can want to know probably the details who are my billionaires here and there and that stuff. But mm. going to stop talking because it's Friday. You probably want to start your weekend. So enjoy your Friday. I'll see you again on Monday. And until then, as always, take care and bye bye.